Hey guys, welcome to our new video. My name is Wim. And I'm Sam, and we created a short video which will be your ultimate guide when you're planning a trip to Double Island. Yeah. And we'll be explaining how to get there because there are actually three ways of getting there. Yeah, we'll show you some bush camping, some beach camping, and also all the things you can do at Double Island. Yeah, let's start that intro. There are three ways to get to Double Island. Because we live in Noosa, we'll be taking the Noosa barge. It's only a one minute short ride that will cost you $20 one way with the trailer. Yeah. And remember, it's cash only. Yeah, but we'll also cover the other two ways in this video. At Nusa North Shore, you'll find a pub, an ADM, and a bottle shop. Yeah, and a car wash for an underbody wash to get rid of all the salt water. Make sure you deflate your tires and you buy your permits online before driving on the beach. There are a lot of things that you can do at the north side of Double Island, such as surfing, supping, kayaking. But also snorkeling and diving, and it's the perfect spot to launch your jet ski or boat. Yeah, and on a windy day, it's perfect for kayaking.
wind is blowing offshore, we usually choose the south side of Double Island. It's only a 10 or 15 minute ride from the campgrounds. Yeah. And besides surfing or snorkeling, you can also do a hike to the lighthouse. The views from there are amazing. You can see Nusa and Rainbow Beach. And on a clear day, you can even see Kachari. Ready. Let's do this. Fresh water. Make some new tracks. I fell by a turkey. Oh my turkey. god, that will be. Oh! <laughs> Bravo, bravo. freshwater track and you want to see something different you can also stop at the Baimin picnic area that's how you pronounce it <laughs> I'm not sure <laughs> um, but it's also the start of a beautiful hike to Puna Lake uh, I think it's about like one and a half hours to get there uh, we saw some beautiful photos on Instagram because you can swim there it's a beautiful beach but yeah there wasn't there was too much water in there so yeah. that means there was no beach left so no swimming either yeah but it's 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 <laughs> From Rainbow Beach you can get there in only 10 minutes with a two-wheel drive, so it's still a fun hike to do. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. We definitely recommend checking it out. The third way getting to Double Island is via Rainbow Beach. It's a small coastal town and from there it's only 30 minutes to get to Double Island, but make sure you only do that on a very low tide. Um, I would recommend following the Iceman on Facebook because he um, posts daily about the track conditions getting to Double Island from the Rainbow side. watching this video yeah we sure hope you enjoyed it and uh, if you do please like and subscribe yeah. and if you have any questions just leave them in the comments yeah see you guys bye